Are you set for Father's Day? Are you looking for gifts? Because there's not long left. We came up with an idea, haven't we? Well, we thought we'd do something really special, you know, something handmade, well, which shows really a lot special. of... Oh, not it's very us. nice. It is very special because it's being made by Paul A. Young, who was a master chocolatier. Mm -hmm. Lovely to see Hello. you. Hello, how are you? There's some chocolate here, but you're not making chocolates today. No. Fudge. Fudge. Anything sweet for me, really. But fudge, because it's got a bit of a resurgence happening, it's really cottage industry craft stuff, mm -hmm. and it isn't that difficult. And well, see, you say that, I immediately go, Things boiling, yeah. thermometers, I'm thinking dangerous, or if it's not the right temperature, it's all going to go horribly yeah. wrong. It so can. do you have to stick a thermometer in your fudge? Why, Why would you that...? You do. Well, on a thermometer like this, a sugar thermometer, there's a little bit that says soft ball. The soft ball stage is what you're boiling your brown sugar, yeah. demerara, mm. little pinch of salt, some butter, cream and milk. So that's the so that's basis. the basis of fudge. Vanilla for some flavouring, if you want it. If you boil it to the soft ball stage, yeah. which is where we are now, you lift it off, allow it to cool, so you're just following the name on the, on the thermometer. If you've got a digital thermometer, 116 yes. to 118 degrees centigrade, that's it. Right. Heavy so you bottom. You have to bring it up to that. You have to bring heat. it to that. As soon as it hits that soft ball stage, lift it, it off and mix while it's cooling. So I've lifted it off the heat. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, it's a ton of sugar in there, isn't no, it? it is a lot. Oh, this is an occasional treat. treat. Mm -hmm. yes. It's just for Father's Day. Father's Day treat. So but, this is it. So this, when this, it's cool. it's this liquidy when it's boiled. Yeah. So this is the bit where the alchemy does happen, actually. Right. Make sure you've got it's something like. to hold. Yeah, it is a bit I Magic love. Magic happens. It is. So it goes from this liquid, and you just keep mixing, and it starts to crystallise mm. the sugar. So it cools down and the sugar starts to crystallise. And you do this by hand? I do. Yeah. Because a mix, this is so hot in a mixer, if you put it on and it's too high, it will splash. Oh, yeah. And this is boiled sugar, so take a lot of care. Okay. And you mix with a wooden spoon. So don't let the kids do this. Not at this stage. Okay. We have another one in a second that the kids can do, which makes it easier. So we mix this a lot. You see how thick it gets. Mm -hmm. That's the point. You then tip it into a lined tray. So this oh, is baking paper. Good. Tip it in. We've got some fruit and nuts there as well, so you can mix anything through it at yeah. this stage. Make it more fruit, interesting. Fruit, nuts. So whatever your dad likes. Exactly. There we go. I'll not tip it all out, there's mm -hmm. a lot there. So let's you see, I mean, you, that you, you even go to the point where you could take a, a digestive biscuit, a chocolate biscuit, and crumble it. Or you can. Like I that. saw you nibbling on the biscuit you won earlier. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't what? me. Eamon, um, if I can give you that, if you could take that out of the tin and smash it up into big shards and big chunks. Does it have to be smooth? It doesn't, no. That's okay. it. This is one of the times you don't lick the spoon. Oh. It's so hot. Oh. Not yet. Not yet. Pop it aside. So what do you smash it with? So just if you break it out of the paper and just smash it on the counter, oh. Oh. it should snap on the counter. Mm -hmm. Here we oh. go. Oh, beaut. And then you just break lovely. it up, yeah. display it, put it in jars. Or display it, yes, yes, yes. Or eat it or try it. Or eat it. This mm -hmm. fudge is not that kind of chewy fudge you get. It's, it's more like tablet. It's like Scottish tablet. Yeah, in between fudgy and sugary. Mm -hmm. I brown like sugar that fudge. pretty grainy. Oh, I do. It's that Moorish texture mm. I love. But if that's a bit complicated or you don't have the ingredients or a sugar thermometer, I came up with this recipe last year. Mm -hmm. I, I had the lucky uh, opportunity to go to Bangkok to work for a week, and I had to make a very quick fudge in the heat mm -hmm. and didn't have all the ingredients. So this is Bangkok fudge? It's kind of Bangkok fudge. All it is is milk chocolate, a tiny little pinch of fine sea salt, so about a quarter of a teaspoon, and malt extract. The li oh, I the love malt. Liquid, liquid malt extract, I do. Malt loaf, mm. anything. My grandma used just... to give us a teaspoon of malt every evening. We had to yeah, to what build you up. To build you up, is that what, apparently. Was that what it was yeah, for? It was for and health reasons. I could have said, worked a treat. <laughs> <laughs> Built me up a bit too much. There we go. So, <laughs> melted, so melted chocolate, malt, a little bit of salt. You could use honey or agave mm. syrup. Mm. If you'd like to start mixing that, Ruth. It will get really, really Muscles thick. For that I'm going to hold the bowl because it really oh, so does get thick. you have to thick. really almost beat it. You do, yeah. You, yeah. Could, you could put this in a mixer if you wanted mm -hmm. to. And <laughs> this is going fudgy because the chocolate cools down and crystallises. Oh, yeah, hard. it's tough. This one. Yeah. See, as, as Ruthie is saying, when you think of various parts of the country, which is where you're famous for uh, fudge. Yeah. I'm sure it's Devon. Fa it's famous cream. Yes, yeah, clotted cream, cream fudge. fudge. Yeah. Delicious. And, is that, and is that that's it? Yeah. And, uh, whatever. But you would never think of Bangkok. You wouldn't, would you? No. But it worked because it didn't. The, the chocolate melted in the heat. Yeah. It didn't seize up, and it just mixed together. So that's it. All you do with that is tip that out into another. Lined tray, spread it out. Yeah. It's good to have help to just slide around a bit. You take a little bit of time with this. Now this this fudge is a chewier, smoother fudge. Yes. Which so it's this one here. This one here, yeah, right. Does it get it, a bit caramelly? There we go. It does. It's very toffee caramelly. 
But Thank it's, you. You need to put this one in the fridge to set mm -hmm. and keep mm -hmm. it set. This one you don't put in the fridge. And does fun sure to keep forever? Well, ease, well, about a week in my house, but <laughs> maximum. Okay, but this one in the fridge, a couple of months. The other one, if it's in an airtight container, a good couple of months as well. This tastes completely different. It's different, isn't it? Than the other ones. Um, Not how as would you describe that? Yeah. Is that Much almost chew caramel, chewier. Like toffee. It is. Mm. It's in between fudge and toffee. Mm. I'm going to oh, look, and then you display it in something lovely like this that. Is, the other thing is, it's Father's Day gifting. Keep it simple. This is a, a metal plant pot with parchment paper, a jar with some twine around. Yeah. And then scoff, eat, enjoy it. Paul, you're a great man. Thank mm. you Paul. very much indeed. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Mm. In fact, this is so chewy, my dentures have now stuck together. I shouldn't have started this. <laughs> For all the recipe details, take a look at our This Morning app and it is all there.